Hi, Hi guys. guys, and welcome to Disney Day three. Welcome back to my channel if you're new. My name is Brianna. And I'm Corey. And where are we today? Um, the Magic Kingdom. We are in the Magic Kingdom for the morning. It's the Christmas party tonight, which we're not doing this trip. We're not doing this year, but we decided to do our Magic Kingdom morning on the Christmas party. And Magic Kingdom is like, she's yeah. dead. Like there's no, barely anybody here, which was one of the reasons why we did it because we're no pass holders. So instead what we can do is enjoy just like a full blown morning at Magic Kingdom. I am again using, oh sorry, we can say something? No. Oh no? Oh, uh, well, I was going to say, and that park hop to Epcot to take advantage of Oh, you're right. Spot. Yeah, well, we are doing that. Okay, great. Yeah, so we are park hopping to Epcot tonight. But the other thing is we're using Standby Skipper this morning. We're using it our entire trip. And this morning, I was like doing my hair, doing my makeup. Didn't even remember that it was 7 o'clock. And Standby Skipper booked us a 9 a.m. Big Thunder Mountain. Big Thunder. So like, I'm already obsessed with them, and I will use them on literally every single every trip. trip. <laughs> we can answer a lot more in the Q&A, and we'll talk about it on Instagram more, just so it's a little bit more like in detail but let's get into our full-blown magic kingdom morning and then epcot this afternoon so if you are new make sure to give the video a big thumbs up please hit the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of the upcoming disney vlogs so without further ado let's head into magic kingdom little bit of a check-in it is 9 38 so 9 40 we've had a busy little magic kingdom morning what did we do so far um we have done pita pad obviously that world. was a rope drop yep small world yep and we just did our lightning lane for, for big thunder big thunder but yes. it was a walk on anyway anyway Liter so it really no, did literally it we like the walked car was onto like, the car like two and they're like oh you're actually on on this walk. car we were, were like, like oh. oh okay we literally just walked for three minutes and got right on which was so nice but we ended up booking a lightning lane for remy's for 6 15 tonight in epcot because we're going to epcot tonight and we didn't get to ride remy's the last time and corey was like it was oh i really want to prioritize like riding remy's actually you know what let's pull over in the shade it's a little pull over in the shade but so we were excited because we got to prioritize Remy's because that's something we wanted to ride tonight. And we also could, even if we wanted to, stack a ton for tonight at Epcot because the lines here are like dead. We've never been to Magic Kingdom on a party day. And oh my God, are the lines like literally minuscule. But anyway, it is 9.39. I think I could use a snack and a water. So we're gonna grab a water and a snack. What that snack is gonna be, not too sure. We will let you know. It's a little early, but we'll kind of figure it out. Maybe we'll take a little bit of a sit. I don't know. We've got a lot I we can get done this morning. Our next lightning lane we can book at like 11.30 because I just booked this one at 9.30. So we have to obviously wait the two hours because yeah. we're obviously not scanning in for Emmys. But we're having a nice little morning and I'm just... It's hot, ladies. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I curled my hair this morning just because I had washed it last night and I wanted to. I think with the rain, it's just getting super humid. It's you. It is muggy. Like, it was not humid or muggy at all. This the last morning three was days. literally a face cloth. Like, it, it was something. Like, I'm sweating up. in the shade because it's so yeah. hot. So, we're going to grab some water. Maybe we could do a little air conditioning. A little Maybe a little Philhar Magic or something. So, yeah, we'll check in when we know what we're doing next, but definitely a water. All right, everyone little check-in so we ended up getting waters and then we went to the frontier land trading post or whatever it is where you can do all the pins pin trading and stuff like that and we bought one pin and we traded a pin so this is the pin that we bought i've loved this pin here let's see if i can get it 
closed for so, so long. The reason we bought it was because we finally got to do the California, Soarin' Over California overlay. So I was like, oh, that feels like a memorable moment, an opportunity to buy that pin. And then we have been trading pins so far this trip, and I just traded one of my like really older, old pins for this little Italian flag pin for my dad. I feel like he's gonna love that for his little pin lanyard. So dad, if you're watching, I've got you that one. But if you're not watching, then I'll give it to you at some point. So <laughs> we're enjoying doing some pin trading. Maybe we'll get some mystery boxes today. Oh. And see if we can like get any cute ones. That would be kind of fun. So Corey just checked Pirates is a walk-on. Everything today, you guys, is absurd. The like, longest wait is Peter Pan at 35 minutes. And like that is probably like literally a walk-on. So we are just enjoying our morning. We're taking it slow because we like literally have all morning here to get all of our rides done. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, I bet you Standby Skipper would have been literally incredible today if we were not trying to stack Correct. for tonight. Like I was so nervous that Correct. we were not gonna get a lightning lane for Remy's before. So I'm, I just like booked that. So we're not gonna be able to book another lightning lane, like I said, until about 11.30. So we've got about another hour and a half. But, but we don't need it. We're also on our like Magic Kingdom snacking journey today which I'm excited about. We're just waiting for the snacks to open. Yeah, to open. It's literally 10 a.m. So we're waiting for snacks. And a lot of our snacks are like savory too. So yeah. I'm like, oh, does one have a taco at 9.30? Yes, because we all know I'm a taco Always. girly. But with that being said, we're having a lovely morning. I've got my water and we're gonna head onto Pirates and I'm gonna vlog Pirates today. Yeah. Because we haven't vlogged Pirates in like two or three or so trips. Arc. So we're very excited. So let's head on to Pirates. Serenade float. Yeah, so we'll give reviews after, but we're finally, you guys, we're finally doing the Tiki Room. Hi everyone, we've done a lot since the Tiki Room, but quick rating on the Tiki Room. 10 out of 10 place to have a nice Dole Whip oh my God. a nice little relaxing afternoon. You guys were like, you have to do the Tiki Room on this trip. We did it and we loved it. I it thought it was cute. so fun. And there was one part that Brianna was just dying laughing. Oh my God, it was the, when the guys were like the banging on the drum. Yeah. So funny, but. We just got fresh bucket of popcorn. We also did the Walt Disney World Railroad for the first time. That was, that so, was so fun. fun. I'll have to vlog it the next time that we do it because it was just a blast. What an easy, it gave like people mover vibes, but Absolutely. throughout the entire park. And I was like, this is amazing. Okay. So we are now, it is 11.54. We ended up just buying some pins. I used my annual pass holder discount to get, it was six pins for 29 or $30, which I thought was great. Cause I was gonna buy two boxes and it was only four pins instead, but I got six because I'm enjoying pin trading. I think it's fun. Corey gets frustrated when all the pins are the same, oh. or the crusty pins. So Corey's having a, would you say a subpar time pin trading? I'm just happy you a, that you are enjoying yourself. You have, you here, like, and that means more to me. You, I like buying the actual pin. Yes, but you know what you also like though? You like looking at the pin boards when there's good pins on the board. Like, you enjoyed the one where we saw yes. the Mickey that we But liked. that seems to be more a rarity for more me. More of a rarity. So I literally will do a glance, I'm like, nope. Nope, not for me, away. nope, not for me. But I'm like, Brownie, you have a good time. We've got our nice popcorn, we got some waters, and then we're gonna end up doing Pecos Bill for lunch, but we are actually watching the parade in Frontierland. It starts in five minutes. Corey's never seen Festival of Fantasy. Uh, not to my knowledge, at least. So the first time that like I saw it was when we came in August, when I came with my friend Casey. It was literally a blast, it was so fun, it's so nice. So. We're gonna do Festival of Fantasy, or not we're gonna do it, we're gonna watch it, and I'm gonna vlog it, so let's watch Festival of Fantasy.
obviously I'm talking for him because he just went to get me some sour cream, but we decided to do lunch at Pecos Bill today. Corey ended up going with the fajita platter. I'll turn around and show you. I went with the pork carnitas bowl. We got a side of chips and queso on the side to be able to scoop, and then of course, two fresh diet sodas. If you know, you know my Diet Coke game. Corey got one and I got one. This is Corey's fajita platter. This is my pork carnitas bowl, chips on the side. We both got lettuce and a little bit of tomato to put on our bowls. That's a side of queso. So we're gonna enjoy this and then we're headed over to Haunted Mansion, then Tomorrowland and Spring Rolls. So we've got a big afternoon ahead of us in Magic Kingdom. We have finished up at Pigos. Want a walk and vlog or you want to stand? We can walk and vlog. Okay, we can definitely do a walk, a walk and vlog. So got my nice little diet soda. We're heading over to Haunted Mansion now. It is 12.50, our lightning lane ends at, at 110, I'm 110 sure or 115. So we're just taking a leisurely stroll so I can try to drink my crispy fountain diet. One of my favorite fountain diets in Magic Kingdom actually is at Pecos Bill. My favorite fountain diet at Epcot is the next to the creation shop where the popcorn buckets are. My favorite crispy diet coke from studios is the one, the one, where's the popcorn bucket stand? Oh, the one, um, the one like near Mickey in front Minis, of the but it's like in theater. front of it. But it's more in front. It's like at the cusp of. Um, it's it's in front of the Chinese Boulevard theater. Yeah. Else. Yeah. So we're just doing a quick little check in, and we're headed off to Haunted Mansion, and then we are going to spend our afternoon in Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. Yes. Hopefully, I can kick Corey's butt at Buzz. We all know that's probably not going to happen, but I'm just manifesting the positive vibes. So to Haunted Mansion. Hi everyone. Last time we saw you was before Buzz, I think, and maybe Haunted Mansion too. It is now 2:41. We had literally the most perfect Beautiful amazing incredible morning also is this us right oh, here that's our bus. oh that's our bus so we're just gonna look, put a little bit of a pep in our step a little longer oh he's strong. buckling the seatbelt hi everyone greetings it has been a few hours because the last time that i technically vlogged i'll keep the footage in was when we immediately saw our bus and started oh, running i was like did we not say bye at magic kingdom no we were like <laughs> running so we were trying to close out at Magic Kingdom, and then as we were, Skyliner, pause. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. So we ended up finishing up at Magic Kingdom. We ended up leaving the park around what? Would you say like 2.30? Like 2.30ish. We ended up coming back to the resort, packing up some of our stuff. Like I would say like a good handful of it because tomorrow we are switching resorts because we're moving to our deluxe resort. The second half of the stay, which we're excited for. Corey and I were just saying on our way, like walking to the Skyliner, normally we're like pool people in the afternoon, but this trip we've more so just kind of like went back to the room versus using the pool. And it's been nice to just have like an hour and a half to like refresh in your room, lay on the bed, like charge your phone for a little bit. If you're and then Brianna, just... put your pajama pants back on. Yeah, like I put my PJ pants on. Like I was just like straight relaxing and it just felt nice because I think part of us, this latter half of this trip, we're gonna really try to be a little bit more go with the flow, just kind of get up, do what we wanna do. You all know I'm like a type A planner and I'm trying to not be that way. So we're trying to be a little bit more go with the flow. So we had already had a Remy's Lightning Lane and Standby Skipper literally booked us a frozen Lightning Lane when there was zero available. Like I am a Standby Skipper girly. We'll talk a lot more about it in the Q and A because I'll ask if you guys have any questions on it, but I cannot recommend them enough. Now I just want to say like they are gifting us the service of Standby Skipper, we're paying for Genie, but they like let us try it out and I love it. Like I've not been on my phone on Genie literally at all today except for once and that was to get Remy's because we just, that was Corey's main priority today so I wanted to make sure that I could I do that. I made a comment that was like, your, bad, your phone batteries love it. Yeah, like loving it. It really is, my phone batteries are like 78% while also filming content. So, I think we're pulling in to our Please Skyliner terminal. Until the doors yep. automatically open. We will. When exiting the cabin, we please will. supervise children. We will. Collect your belongings. Thank you. And watch your steps. Thank you very much. Thank you for flying. Thank you. Great. Okay, now we've got the Spanish layover, but with that being said, let's head to Epcot. So we have made it into Epcot and we are doing a little bit more of food and wine. We rode Frozen as well because we had a lightning lane and then we're probably going to try to get into Moana for our annual pass holder preview and then we will head to Remy's. But wanted to share what I got. So I got the lump crab cake from Coastal Eats and then Corey went to Flavors from Fire. This is the smoked corned beef with house made potato chips. This is the chimichurri marinated skirt steak taco and then this i've heard nothing but good things about it is the spiced chocolate tart so we've got four things to try we had split up 
We both end up getting waters. We're just always in need of water. So what do you want to try first? Um, the taco. Okay, so you go ahead and go first. Maybe spread out some of that like stuff, like give it a spread with the fork. Just, oh, that's not spreading. Spread to the, Okay, the, I'm trying to break down that cheese. No, not that, yeah, that. There you go. That much, oh, much there. You do realize See? when you fold it, it's all gonna be one Well, spot. no, it's just gonna be a little different. You know what I mean? Oh, well, flavor-wise, that's nice. Very good. You can have the bigger corner bite. Oh, okay, all right. You couldn't have just held it normal, like normal people hold the taco. You know, we're supposed to share. And? That beef is tender beyond belief. Really? The guac in there is nice. The sour cream sauce, the aioli sauce that they have in there is very Is good too? Delightful. All right, my turn. Corey absolutely mangled this. Very good, same thing. Steak super tender. Love the avocado on there as well. Now we're on to the smoked corned beef. All right, let's give it a whirl. Whoa, that is a loaded chip right there, my friend. Oh, that was a good one biter. Corned beef is nice and tender. I'm getting a lot of this like sauce though instead of the corned beef. Yeah. And I'm getting a sweetness from the pickle so it's nice. I'd probably give it a six and a half, seven. Okay. It's not blowing me out of the water, but it is tasty. Okay. All right, you guys, so it just started raining while we were literally sitting outside trying some of our food and wine stuff. So we made a run inside and we pretty much still have everything in good intact, but I would like another one of these corned beef chips. I was saying to Corey, it's really, really good. As long as you can distribute the, it's hard to vlog and do it at the same time. As long as you can distribute the meat and the sauce, it's like a 10 out of 10. I love crab cake because why not? I don't know if I like crab cakes. Do, do you know if I like them? You've definitely never had a crab cake. <laughs> no? At least with me. Kind of reminds me of a stuffed Yeah, very much. I don't necessarily love the, like, the consistency, but I think the crab you can taste is very fresh and very, very, very good. So I think if you like crab or crab cakes, this is probably a 10 out of 10 for you. So this is what I'm actually most excited for Corey to try. My favorite humans in the world, Bethany Vinton and then Colin and Bella from the Millennials on Main Street. They have the podcast, The Main Street Dish. And Bethany talked about this chocolate tart so much and we are just so excited to eat it. So I'm gonna let you try it first. It's basically got like a potato chip, something on the bottom with sea salt. Maybe that's the potato chip crust. I don't remember, but it's in the <laughs> festival packet. But I think you're really gonna like it. And Corey is our chocolate connoisseur and our sweet connoisseur, like all dessert connoisseur. So I'm excited for you to try it. Okay, a lot going on here. The mousse has a phenomenal consistency. That's good. You have sea salt on it, so it cancels out the overly sweetness and makes it that. You have like the crumb is like a nut, if you will. I got yep. a little bit of a walnut in there. So okay. It's, it's, it's very good. It's yeah. Very good. good. So we're having a nice little sit here at Connections Eatery because I don't know if you can see outside. Maybe you just saw it, but it is literally torrentially downpouring, and we do not need to get wet. Oh, can you hear the thunder? It is a crazy Florida storm right now. So Corey's just scrolling on his phone. I'm gonna scroll online for a little bit and. Did you, know, did you think I was vlogging myself? I, I thought you were, yeah. Like talking with the camera my yeah. way. No, I had it on you the whole time. Yeah. And you were just so unfazed and so unbothered. I was watching a Julian Edelman video on Instagram. Even better. If you're Disney goers, you know the drill. Corey was like, oh, I think it's gonna rain tonight. Like we should check on the weather. You should totally and, just check. Them. Yeah, and he checked and it was supposed to rain. Well, and like so it was just little blips and I was like, just yeah. bring them just in case. Yeah, well, a bring lot of the rain those jackets. Blips conform together. Yeah, and I was like, oh, don't worry about it. Like, we'll just make it work. Like, we don't really need to actually worry about. People see me with the camera in my hand, right? Like, I'm not, I, you see me? I see you. Yes, I see you. You see me? Kevin Hart's kit. Like, I'm holding this thing out. I'm not talking to myself for no reason. But with that being said, Corey was like, let's just bring them. It doesn't hurt to have them. And, like, you're not going to want to be, like, you know, getting rained on, which he's right. So, still have a good time in the rain. We're walking over to France now. A little gloomy French little moment. We're going to go ride Remy's. And we still have our dining reservation tonight, but a little check in. Tip on Egypt. We're walking, and we've got our rain here. Okay, you guys, we are at Teponito. We ended up checking in early. We are supposed to have a dining reservation at 8.50. And it is 8.03. We 
we're already sitting at the table. We're also soaking wet because we got caught in a rainstorm. So we wanted to see if we could check in to our dinner reservation early. And we could. So it's 8.03. We are going to order soon. We just got, what did we order? Just drinks to start. We just got drinks to start. Yeah, you got, of course, the grapefruit candy. Naturally. With the fresh grapefruit. And then I just got a Diet Coke. So I'm going to need a little caffeine also. The hair is just, it is rain. It is just, it is giving. Why is my hair looking so spot on? I think it's because of your products. <laughs> Back in the room, Corey is being dramatic. Yeah, being dramatic. But <laughs> Brianna's we... asked me to get closer to her, so I literally just went. Yes. So <laughs> it's been great. So wanted to share our Tepanado experience. Oh. It was so good. It's every single time getting the fillet upgrade and eating at Tepanado in Epcot is like my favorite place. We haven't done too much other dining in Epcot. I'd really love to, but we just haven't really leaned into doing it because mm -hmm. every time we go, I'm like, oh, but I miss Tepanado. Like, I want to do it again. So we've been doing Tepanado a lot, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. I give Tepanado all it's the time so a 10 out of a 10. Actually, I think that they need to change up that noodle because my noodle oh. was like, had like a, not like a film, but it was like chewy. What were you thinking of the noodles tonight? I, I feel you so like the noodles them? always taste like the noodles okay. that they produce. I think these tonight just tasted a little bit different to me for some reason. I enjoy these noodles. Yeah, but we had a rainy evening in oh Epcot tonight. Goodness. It was, we got to Epcot, what did we do? We walked to... We went to Frozen, Road Frozen. Yes. Then we went to... Oh, Creations. Creations. You bought your shirt. I got my shirt. After Creations, we wanted to just try some food. Yep. Um, so we then ordered our food, but then immediately had to run inside because it started, started raining. started literally pouring rain. And then we were probably inside for what? An hour, hour 15? No, we left at... It started we raining. We were probably inside for probably like... 45 minutes okay. which even for us is long like we were excited to go to Epcot tonight and just be a little bit more go with the flow and walk around and enjoy but we got some rain which isn't my favorite you all know I like hate rain at Disney it's like my most annoying thing ever it's like why can't it just be nice but I digress either way we did have a nice night but it was rainy we rode Remy's it was great love Remy's it's so fun so good and then when we were leaving Remy's it was like torrentially downpouring like it was so rainy to which then we ended up throwing on our rain jackets again thank god Corey said like let's just bring them it doesn't matter i'm so glad that we brought them then we ended up going to tepanito they actually ended up taking us like an hour early for our reservation which was thank so god. great because we were like we just want to get home we want to be like out of here done mm. like kibosh put the kibosh on it so then we ended up getting back here and we just packed up the rest of our stuff for probably like 20-ish minutes. We are doing our split stay, so tonight is our last night in pop. So far, I mean, I thought that packing everything up was easy because we didn't unpack and repack. We no. just unpacked two carry-ons in one suitcase and that was really we about it. We were very good of packing a bag for this hotel than packing a bag for the next The second hotel, one, so, so we didn't feel like we had to crazy unpack. So, with that being said, we're gonna do our three favorites of the day. Do you wanna start? Do you want me to start? My first favorite. Okay. <laughs> You're starting. We crushed Magic Kingdom this morning. Oh my god, I it keep forgetting we were there. It was a phenomenal morning. Yeah. We did so much. It was just insanely, insanely good. Yeah. I got my new shirt, which I'm very mm. excited about. Yes. I don't know why. I mean, it's, it's not like I've been holding off for a reason. It's just, I've just held off. I just feel as though I was like, oh, I'll just, oh, get, I'll it just get it when I can. Get it when I can. Yeah. Lastly was um, Teponino. I yeah. mean, so, so good. So good. Yeah. I would say my three favorites of the day were the first was, I did some pin trading today. Yes, you did. And it was an absolute blast. Like, I think the, the fun and the hunt looking for pins, I was actually texting one of my really good friends Caitlin and I was like hey where do you 
like Pinterest, she's a very avid pin trader. She's also on, also on YouTube. I can link her channel down below. She does a ton of Disney stuff. And she's like really into pin trading. And I just think pins are so beautiful. And we've always just only bought pins that are commemorative like to a moment or for a reason. Like every pin that we have has a value. And not that other pins don't, but we don't just like randomly collect the mystery boxes or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So it was just fun to like pin trade and like get pins that are just a little bit more random and sporadic and just because you like them for a certain reason so that was my first favorite second favorite tip on you know was just like absolutely amazing mm -hmm. it was delicious and i would say my third favorite of the day was our dole whips i tried a new dole whip today i got the pineapple upside down cake with the swirl dole whip mm. it was so unbelievably good and i was just yeah very happy about it so with that being said we are going to end out this vlog so make sure to give the video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification bell so you never miss any of our upcoming disney vlogs tomorrow we are headed to typhoon lagoon disney springs and checking into our brand new resort so make sure you're sticking around so you can see our next next resort but i love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one toodles bye everyone